Welcome to another fascinating episode of Wild Biosphere. Today, we delve into the intriguing world of creatures that have captivated our imaginations for centuries. The vampire deer and the vampire bat. What do these fascinating creatures have in common? Join me as we uncover the secrets of these bloodthirsty beings. First, let's talk about the vampire deer, also known as the musk deer. Found in the mountainous regions of Asia, these unique creatures have long, sharp fangs that protrude from their mouths, resembling vampire fangs. However, contrary to their appearance, vampire deer do not actually drink blood. The fangs of vampire deer are actually elongated canine teeth, also known as tusks. These tusks serve a different purpose. They are primarily used by male vampire deer during the breeding season to compete for mates. They engage in intense battles, locking their tusks together in combat. The vampire deer's tusks can grow up to six inches long, and their size is directly related to their dominance in the mating rituals. The larger the tusks, the more likely they are to attract a mate. It's a fierce competition in the world of vampire deer. Now, let's shift our focus to the vampire bat, one of the most iconic blood-drinking creatures in the animal kingdom. These small nocturnal mammals are found in Central and South America. Vampire bats have earned their name for their unique feeding habits. Unlike the vampire deer, vampire bats do indeed consume blood as their primary source of nutrition. They possess razor-sharp incisor teeth, which they use to make tiny, painless incisions on their prey. Then, using their exceptionally sharp tongues, they lap up the blood that flows from the wound. Vampire bats primarily feed on the blood of livestock such as cows and horses, but they may occasionally bite humans as well. However, it's important to note that vampire bat bites on humans are extremely rare and mostly occur in regions where the bats and humans share close proximity. So, what do these seemingly unrelated creatures have in common, besides their association with vampirism? The answer lies in their dietary adaptations. Both vampire deer and vampire bats have evolved unique features to support their specialized feeding habits. Both species have elongated teeth that have adapted to their specific needs. Vampire deer use their tusks as a tool for combat and mate selection, while vampire bats' sharp incisors are designed for making precise blood-extracting incisions. These adaptations demonstrate how different species can develop similar physical attributes to suit their specific ecological niches. Researchers have also discovered similarities in the digestive systems of vampire deer and vampire bats. Both species possess unique enzymes and gut bacteria that help them break down the nutrients in their respective diets. This fascinating convergence of physiological adaptations highlights the incredible diversity and adaptability of life on our planet. It's a testament to nature's ability to find innovative solutions to survival challenges. In conclusion, while the vampire deer and vampire bat may share a connection to vampirism in their names and physical attributes, their feeding habits and ecological roles are vastly different. The vampire deer's tusks are a symbol of dominance and mating prowess, whereas the vampire bat's razor-sharp incisors enable it to sustain itself by feeding on the blood of other animals. Nature continues to surprise and intrigue us with its wonders and mysteries. Join us next time as we unravel more secrets from the animal kingdom. Until then, remember to appreciate the beauty and diversity of life around us. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Thank you for watching.